Hey guys, welcome back to Procrastinating Pretty. I felt like filming a video, but I didn't want to like get ready and you know put on makeup and things, and I just felt like doing something super lazy. So I figured I'd show you what's on my. This is technically my desk, like where I do my work and where I eat and everything. But I keep a ton of skincare products here just because I feel like, you know, the time when I really take the time at night to unwind is just at night and I like having all my products here while I'm watching a TV show or anything. So um, I wouldn't exactly call this my nighttime routine just because that's a lot of product for, for just nighttime, but um, it's kind of stuff that I, I use when I have time to really slow down and do it properly. So floss should also be probably be here, but I do that in the bathroom. Um, yeah, so this is basically everything that I can do while watching a TV show. Um, anyways, I'm going to start with uh, what's kind of in the back. So I have, keep a couple cleansers on here. Um, right here is Bioderma. I keep that with a bunch of cotton swabs like right around here. Oh wow, this is so weird pointing so indirectly. Um, these uh, cotton swabs are from not cotton swabs, sorry, they're cotton pads from Shiseido. I'm really enjoying them and I probably shouldn't be paying like $9 for, for cotton, but it just feels so good. I keep them in a candle holder with a lid so they don't get dusty or anything. And yeah, so I usually take off my makeup with Bioderma. And then I'll follow up with the um, the Nukes De Maquillant that's right here. That's the Three Rose Cleansing Milk. Um, that's pretty good. I've been really enjoying that. It comes in a nice, like, large size. I think this size was a special one, though, like a special edition. And I tissued that off with the, um, uh, what's this called? The Aven Thermal Water, which is really great. I've also been using that a lot this summer just to kind of cool down. Um, anyways, oh, also with the Bioderma, I'll use cotton swabs here. Um, I keep them half the pointy ones and half, like, the normal Q-tip rounded ones, just because for different makeup uses, that's... I use them for different things. Um, anyways, this right here is uh, the Nukes, it's pronounced Huile Prodigieuse, uh, I think a lot of people have trouble with that, but it's the, um, it's the multi-purpose dry oil, which I'm just starting to use and I really, really love it. I don't know that it's enough moisture for the winter, but for the summer it's been great. And right behind that, I'm actually going to get up, right behind that is this thing called Lumison. Um, I use this at night, it's like a, it says overnight brightening treatment, which is, so it kind of, I guess helps with lines and dark spots and um, any acne scarring. I like it. I I don't know. I don't know that I would have paid full price for it, but I bought it at the MAC sale. And this is Bioderma Pore Refiner. Um, I'm really liking this, actually. I'm really glad I got it. It was pretty pricey over here. I think it's like $30 for 30 mil, which is kind of expensive considering it's just a pharmacy product. But it's been really great for keeping um, the oil in my skin, like controlling it. This back here, I'm going to start here, this is Embryolis. I really like this, it's, I mean, I don't know that, I understand why it's like such a hyped product, because it's, it really is just very simple, very um, no muss, no fuss, it's a great uh, moisturizer, but I think I've used things that I felt more like, ooh, that's amazing. <laughs> and this right here is Cicaplast. Um this was recommended by Lisa Eldridge, and of course I had to get it, it's actually, a, I think like a post-treatment gel. It's really silicone-y, actually. It feels like, I don't know, it says the Epidermal Recovery Accelerator, so I think it's for people who had, like, chemical peels and whatnot. But I've actually been using that as my daytime moisturizer, and I really like it, because it soaks right in and doesn't leave me shiny or anything. And right in front of that is the SkinCeuticals Floritin CF. I've been really liking this. It leaves my skin a little bit sticky, so I try not to use it every day, but I don't, I can't really say how the uh, results are, just because I'm 22 and I don't, it's supposed to be preventative, so I guess I, I'll never know if it worked or not, but I've been enjoying using it. And this is the um, Decray Ictien HD. Um, yeah, a really, really heavy-duty moisturizer. I use this at night when I feel like my skin's a little bit dehydrated or when I want to wake up with that really, really sort of, ooh, my skin is plump and moisturized in the morning feeling. Um, that's good. I wouldn't use it every day, though. I think it might be a little bit too heavy. And um, during the daytime, I'm, I've been using... Sorry, no. This is at night. I've been using the um, La Roche Posay Substienne eye cream. I really like this. Sometimes I'll use this all over my face. I think I had a moisturizer um, post a few weeks ago. I'll link that below if I remember. Um, and I think I've mentioned that I use this all over my face when I need extra moisture. But it's really expensive to use like all over your face all the time, so I try not to. And ah! Nope. Alright, just knock them back in here. And the last thing in here is my Jolie Glove Bomb. Yeah, these just kind of fall all the time. And um, I use this for most, mostly my lips, but every once in a while I'll just use it around my cuticles just because it's like 
it's so hydrating. But it's not heavy at all and it soaks right in, so yeah, that's really good. I'm trying to see if I like forgot anything. But yeah, no, so that's um, pretty much everything that fits in there. I'll probably swap out the products as I finish them because um, I, I don't know, I have huge product ADD, but yeah, that's everything. I can zoom in to give you a slightly closer look. And I'm totally loving using candle holders for everything. I've been like burning through candles just for the sake of using them for storage. <laughs> yes, um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!